critiques of Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981 were comparing my movie to something called The Adventures of Tintin by Hergé. How much for the boat? It's not for sale. I don't think you realize this. You're about to walk into a whole mess of danger. Every single panel told a story in cinematic terms, including color palette, composition, very expressive action, the way Hergé was posed in character. It was a movie. What is it about this ship? Why has it attracted so much attention? And it was an extraordinary experience to understand the globe-trotting similarities between this amazing, tenacious boy journalist and Indiana Jones. Look at this. The model ship conceals a clue to one of the greatest secrets in all history. Our story starts instantly. You know the value of that scroll. We wanted it to work as an origin story, so it was important for us to memorialize on film the moment when Tintin meets Captain Haddock. Thanks. I'm Tintin, by the way. Haddock. Archibald Haddock. Our difficulty is that we had to take these two-dimensional flat line drawings with very simple blocks of color and turn them into a fully rendered texture in our three-dimensional world. The world of Hergé was programmed into our own virtual film studio, so instead of going on location, we built the locations in the computer. Put your hands up! And then Stephen was able to step into that virtual world with a digital virtual camera and shoot his mouth. Well done, Snowy! I had a little, like a game controller in my hand with a TV screen with a button before I could crane up and down just with my thumb. Another button like a dolly right and left just with my other thumb. Hergé obviously loved Hollywood adventure films, mystery, excitement, action, but it feels like one of those great adventure films. Plus there's slapstick with comedy. Never fear, Ting Ting. The evidence is safe with us. Thompson, where are you? Well, I, I'm already downstairs. Keep up. In an age where there is a lot of science fiction, there is a lot of superheroes, you know, why, why not classical, good old adventure storytelling? We're saved! Oh, it's a sign from above!